What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Bianconi Zone for a preview, another preview, uh, we play Fiorentina tonight, again, pre-recorded, so um, I don't know what Allegri is going to say, um, as of now, no real injury reports, knock on wood, so hopefully it's a fully fit squad besides the obvious players that are not going to be there, uh, but it's a big game in terms of it's a tough game for us, you know. Uh, it's it's like going to Verona away or Genoa away. Um, for some reason, we are the better side, but for some reason, we look terrible away from home against these size, sides most of the time. So it's a tough game, but you need to build on what you did the last couple of weeks. You know, if you want to be one of those teams, if you want to be up there if you have some ambition uh, for this season if you have certain goals potentially that you're not putting out publicly like Allegri is doing like he's keeping the pressure extremely low but you need to beat these teams and uh, Fiorentina is one of those teams um, so we're gonna go into the preview as usually usual damn it like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new hit that bell notification and uh, let's get straight into it Okay, so like I said, um, game day, and it's um, it's a it, it's a tough game. You know, we usually do not play well, uh, the, especially the last couple of years. We don't play well uh, away to Fiorentina, in my opinion. We we at times get the result, but it's 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 not a good watch. It's most of the time we are not the better team. You know, uh, field position wise and everything, we get results, but. It's a tough game for us, but it's a must-win game, obviously, um, because we're in a momentum, you know, with the clean sheets and the wins, what, whatever, that you need to keep that momentum somehow going, especially until the international break, because that's, I think that's very key. It's very key to go for once into an international break with a good feeling factor and hopefully no random news reports in the international break, like for one, for, for that one time. So that's why it's an important game. You play a Fiorentina side who, I'm going to be honest, <clears throat> in the league, they're up and down. You know, they're up and down. You get a good Fiorentina at times. You get a very terrible Fiorentina at times. I've watched them live this season over here in Belgium. They were not impressive. They looked extremely flat they look like they were they needed another 300 minutes before they wanted before they were gonna create chances they scored two goals those two goals both came from corners like they played a game like we played a lot of our games creating nothing moving the ball extremely slowly needing set pieces no creativity all those things so i've seen them play live and I was absolutely not impressed. They should have lost that game against a team that's inferior, you know. Um, and I'm not going into the game and I'm like, oh, I'm scared from Fiorentina. I'm scared of going away to that place, you know. Like I'm scared of going to Verona or uh, going to Genoa. They don't have better teams. They're not the better team. But for some reason, it's it's tough to play there, you know. Um in my opinion, their team, they, they can see quite a lot. You know, if you watch that Empoli game, the goals they can see that you're like, that this is not okay. like this is bad, you know. Uh, you should get the better of them in, you know, in certain moments of the game. They do sc score quite a lot of goals, you know. Um, I, I wrote it down. I think they scored 18, which is, is a good average. It's more than us, but they concede 14 goals. I think that's, that's just a lot of goals to concede, man. You know, there are clubs down the line, you know, with the Nese Verona relegation sides who are conceding less. So um, those things should be an advantage for us, in my opinion. They, they should, you know, they should be a, an advantage for us. And it's it's up to us to take fully um, advantage of that um, because, you know, I've seen Arthur play and he gets praises but he keeps the ball well, but he's not, 
like you shouldn't your your midfield should not get dominated by Arthur and Duncan. Duncan. Um it shouldn't happen. You know, if that happens, it's a big issue. Like it's a very very big issue if that happens. You shouldn't get dominated by that. You know, Nico Gonzalez, I think he's he's okay. Bonaventura is having a good season. Um Iconi plays well against us. Um that back line, you know, Piragi, Milenkovic, Parisi. I like Parisi. Um but it's not that it's an extremely powerful or talented backline. Like there are opportunities and I think that's reflecting Fiorentina's season so far. It's up and down, you know, they have good moments, they have very poor moments and they have just okay moments. Just good enough. Um to be honest. But overall, it's a key game. It's a key game, uh, especially ahead of the international break, going into what is for us um, a, a, a tough month of November because you go, you play Fiorentina. The following week, you play uh, Cagliari at home. Should be nothing. Then you go into international break, and then it's a big game. You come back, you play Inter at home. So that's why I'm saying build that momentum, build that good feeling factor, go into the Fiorentina game, get the three points, you know, obviously, uh, move to Cagliari at home, go into the international break, and then come back strong for that Inter game at home. Um, that's on the Fiorentina side. On the Juve side, I think it's, or it should be, uh, I'm going to say it should be uh, straightforward. I don't know if it's going to be straightforward. Uh, let's go into what I would do um, and not really what Allegri would do. I will keep in mind three five two because that's that's who we are now. Uh, so Chesney is gonna play, obviously. Um, I think that is very obvious. Bremer, same thing, very obvious. Gatti playing because that's who we have now uh, in terms of Danilo is still not fit um, and. It's a big topic. Uh, I don't think, and I don't want to jinx it, but like, I don't think, like, if Danilo plays yes or no, and like, I don't think it changed much in terms of quality on the pitch for us overall as a team, you know. And I don't want to completely disrespect because I have nothing against him. I know who he is, Danilo, but I don't think if we lose that game, I will be like, oh, if we had Danilo, we would have not lost that game. I don't think that's going to be the difference. But Danilo is still not fit, so. Uh, makes it easy to pick the, the 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 lineup. Then we have Locatelli, obviously. You can pin that down every single game. Same for Rabio. You can uh, kind of pin that down. Who you also can pin down, in my opinion, is Miretti because we are injured. That means McKenny is going to play on the right hand side, and if the following thing doesn't happen, if Cambiasso doesn't start. I have absolutely no idea what what's going on at the club. I have, I have absolutely no idea because Kostic defensively, I think he's playing good, but offensively he offers nothing. Um, Cambiasso played well, obviously, uh, even against Milan when he came on. We play differently, we do. So he cannot pick Kostic again. Like, come on, you know, I'm at a point where I'm like, even Junior should be getting minutes, you know, because the difference in impact and whatever on the game is crazy so cambiasso for me but i wouldn't be shocked if it's uh if it's costage again now flavich is gonna start the the next one is tough because i i don't know how you can drop keen but obviously Chiesa should be starting however it's still not 100 percent certain that he's fully fit Chiesa, and there are rumors that he can start at the bench you can make a case that well, you drop Vlaovic. You play Keen and Chiesa, but then you don't have a fully fit Chiesa starting. So what does that with the hierarchy? It's a tough situation because Keen has been playing well. Vlaovic not. Injuries, I get that. You know, just back. But that's a fact. So it's going to be very interesting to see what Allegri is going to do there. I think it's going to be Keen and Vlaovic uh, to start that game. But who knows at this point? Who knows? Now let's go to the to ratings. What I think is needed. I think... I, I don't want to give him a 7 because that means he needed to play an excellent game. But I think it's going to be that type of game that he is going to need to play uh, like, a, like a 7. And 
we cannot concede against Fiorentina. I think if we concede, we do not win that game. I don't think we win that game if we concede a goal. I will be, I will be shocked. Unless it needs to be like a blowout or a 2-0 win and at the end they get a goal. But if we go down and go, I struggle to see us come back come back from uh, winning that game. I really do. I, like I will be absolutely stunned if that actually happens. You know, um, I think we need to play a clean game. It will be a hectic situation. There will be a lot of intensity, pace whatsoever. And it's up to us to match that in terms of pace and intensity going forward because defensively, you just need to cope with it. You just need to match it because I think we will concede a goal and you just need to overcome it. Um, and what overcome is you need to get that goal, goal first before they do. Uh, otherwise, I, I struggle to see us winning. So my prediction is 1-2 uh, win for us. Goal scores, I don't know. It's going to be Chiesa and Vlaovic. That will be great, you know coming back to Fiorentina, but I do think we're going to concede. I think it's going to be a very tough game. We cannot lose that game. Like, we, you can't, You need to win that game, obviously. Like, losing is, is bad because this is a tough game away to Fiorentina, but they're not a very good team. They will be up for this game, but you need to find a way to win that game. You know, you absolutely need to find a win that game because they have a lot of gaps at the back. You need to deal with it. And if you do, I think you'll just get it over the line. You know, I think they will get it over the line. So 2-1 is my prediction. Let me know in the comments what you think uh, about the opponent, obviously, about the game prediction-wise. Like the video, subscribe, and I will see you guys back tonight live for a post-game reaction. See ya.